Tesla has hinted at the release of three new electric vehicles in 2025, including a new Tesla van and the long-anticipated Roadster in Model 2. These vehicles are expected to utilize both the next generation and current platforms, potentially transforming Tesla's product range. In addition, Elon Musk has ambitious plans for Tesla's robo-taxi business, which he envisions could eventually be valued at around $30 trillion, roughly 10 times the current market capitalization of Apple, the most valuable public company in the U.S. What intriguing innovations are hidden within Elon Musk's upcoming trio of electric vehicles? Which three models will Tesla officially introduce in 2025? Recently, Tesla revealed a new slide featuring three new electric vehicle models, sparking speculation about whether these are existing product lines or entirely new models. This development is particularly captivating given Tesla's recent announcement of a major product roadmap for its electric vehicle lineup. One of the vehicles appears to be a tall, boxy truck, while the other two covered vehicles look lower and more streamlined. It's confirmed that Tesla plans to unveil the long-anticipated robo-taxi on August 8th, so one of these secret models could be that vehicle. In April, Tesla announced it was speeding up the launch of new models, including more affordable options, and suggested these would be available by late 2024 or early 2025. However, given Tesla's history with timelines, it will be interesting to see if the upcoming robo-taxi or a cybercap actually makes it to the streets especially since Tesla's full self-driving technology is not yet fully autonomous. Nevertheless, the mention of new models could be exciting for some Tesla fans and investors. Industry analysts have been cautioning for a while that Tesla's product lineup is aging and that the highly popular Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover can't sustain the company's growth indefinitely. After years of significant growth, Tesla's vehicle sales dropped by 85% in the first quarter of this year. This isn't a positive sign for the adoption of electric vehicles in the United States, as Tesla currently holds a large share of the EV market in its early stages. Despite facing pressure, Musk has postponed the introduction of a more affordable model that could boost sales. Instead, Tesla has recently concentrated on launching the Cybertruck, an inexpensive, highly stylized pickup that industry experts believe will be challenging to sell in large quantities. Musk has stated that the Cybertruck won't significantly impact the company's profits this year. Identifying himself as an optimist, Musk believes that vehicle autonomy will arrive sooner than anticipated. When it does, Tesla's potential could be immense, potentially transforming it into a $5 trillion company, 10 times its current value. He sees autonomy as a crucial revenue source, alongside the Optimus robot, creating new avenues for Tesla to monetize its fleet. The most straightforward way to capitalize on this is by operating its own fleet of self-driving vehicles. Musk compares this to Uber, which may feel threatened when Tesla enters the robo-taxi market. However, this development will also create new opportunities for current Tesla owners, allowing them to enlist their cars in the service. Musk likens this to Airbnb, where owners can add their vehicles to the robo-taxi fleet while they are on vacation or at work. Meanwhile, he appears increasingly disenchanted with the traditional car industry, opting instead to focus on Tesla's initiatives in autonomous vehicles and robotics. The Tesla CEO has introduced future car models, but has primarily emphasized the potential of robo-taxis. Musk envisions a future where Tesla could manufacture 100 million robots annually, potentially generating a staggering $1 trillion in profit for the company. This projection is based on the highly optimistic idea of having one humanoid robot for every person on Earth. Musk also suggested that Tesla's robot and robo-taxi ventures could eventually be valued at around $30 trillion, which is roughly 10 times the current market capitalization of Apple the most valuable public company in the United States. Tesla, mainly an automaker, makes most of its profits from car sales. To expand and promote electric vehicle adoption, they need clear plans for new models, not just vague hints. Otherwise, strong newcomers like Hyundai Motor Group and China's BYD could seize the opportunity. Recently, Tesla kept three new models under wraps. It was reported that Elon Musk halted the NV91 and NV92 projects, two affordable electric vehicles based on the new Unbox platform. 
Musk only confirmed plans for the robo-taxi, MV93, on this platform. Electrek noted these vehicles will be based on the Model 3 and Model Y, but with fewer premium features, making them cheaper. The Gen 3 platform will cut the robo-taxi drivetrain cost to under $1,000 and eliminate rare earth metals. The new unbox manufacturing process will divide the car into four parts, built simultaneously for faster, cheaper production. Possibly the biggest innovation in vehicle assembly since Henry Ford's moving assembly line. People are examining the shapes of the covered vehicles, with some speculating that the one in the bottom left looks like a truck. Last year, Tesla unveiled three new models set to launch on the next generation platform in Master Plan Part 3. This included a presentation board showcasing current electric vehicle lines and introducing new models like a compact car, a commercial passenger van, and a bus. The board also hinted at a long-range heavy-duty truck called the Semi-Heavy. Could the next vehicle be a compact truck, the much-anticipated Cybercar, or Model 2? Tesla has hinted at a return to the van market, possibly using the Cybertruck platform, which seems likely for the new van. Tesla has been secretive about this vehicle. But during a shareholder meeting, when asked if they could make a van for 12 people, Musk's smile suggested it's in the works. He also mentioned a high-density passenger vehicle in the 2016 Master Plan Part 2, and the only vehicle from that plan yet to appear is the Tesla van. These three new electric vehicles, including a Tesla van that might be called an MPV in China, are noteworthy. The Tesla van resembles a sleeker, smaller Ford Transit, but offers a significantly longer range, far exceeding the Transit's 150-mile limit. This will give Tesla a strong advantage. The other two vehicles are the Model 2 and the Cybercab. The Model May 2nd be a version of the Cybercab, which will feature two doors, a large trunk, and a unique roof design. Priced at $225,000, the Cybercab is expected to launch in early 2025. Despite Reuters' claim that Model 2 is dead, it's almost certain Tesla will introduce two new vehicle types. Elon Musk has denied these reports, suggesting Model 2 is still in the works. Tesla has hinted at these new models, but details are sparse. There's speculation Tesla might develop Model 2 on the existing Model 3 platform, potentially with a smaller battery and lighter build. Production is expected to start in late 2025 at Tesla's Texas factory, with the Model 2 possibly being produced in Mexico's Gigafactory by 2026. The Mexico factory might also produce an updated Model Y. Tesla is working on several new products which Elon Musk might reveal at the annual shareholder meeting. The upcoming Cyber Cabin Model 2 will likely resemble a Mercedes-Benz or Hyundai Stereo van. Tesla is expected to offer both commercial and passenger versions of this van, possibly including a robo-van or robo-taxi similar to Uber. The van might be available for purchase or as part of a ride-sharing network, and could resemble a Mercedes-Benz Vito, with a release anticipated by 2026. Elon Musk has hinted at the need for higher-density transport in his master plan and mentioned a van based on the Cybertruck chassis. While the Cybervan might debut next year, it could be pushed to 2025 or 2026. Tesla will introduce the Model 2 next year, an affordable option expected to generate significant interest, especially with US EV incentives potentially reducing the price to around $22,000. This could revolutionize the market making it appealing for students and as a second car, and likely leading to widespread use in ride-sharing services. Tesla aims to upgrade its cars to be better and more affordable. As the electric van market grows slowly, companies like Ford, LDV, Pond, and Mercedes-Benz are already offering various models, with Volkswagen set to join soon. Despite only 95 electric vans being registered in New Zealand from January to May 2024, Interest is expected to grow as companies seek to cut fleet emissions. Elon Musk's push to revive the Roadster is notable. Although the second-generation model has been delayed since its anticipated 2020 release, this delay stems from Tesla focusing on the Model 3 and Model Y to advance its sustainable energy goals. However, Tesla is now seriously working on the Roadster, which Musk claims will be released by year's end. It will feature cold air thrusters for short flights and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds, surpassing any other production vehicle. 
Musk has claimed the second-generation Roadster launch could be the greatest product unveiling ever. The teaser image shows a van-like silhouette with a boxier, more angular design. Musk also announced that the Roadster might be able to fly, thanks to SpaceX collaboration, but we're still waiting for production to begin. The base model is priced at $250,000, with a $50,000 pre-order option and additional costs up to $445,000. While the Roadster SpaceX package will include cold air thrusters for flying, we're skeptical, especially since previous promises, like the Cybertruck's swimming ability, have yet to materialize. Why is Tesla focusing on fully autonomous driving? Tesla's FSD software is central to Elon Musk's vision of transforming Tesla into a top AI company. Tesla is building its software from the ground up to lead in AI. Musk highlights that each FSD update like version 12.4 and upcoming versions such as version 12.5 and version 2.6, brings major advancements and promises significant performance boosts, moving closer to unsupervised FSD level 4+. Musk highlights Tesla's newfound computational freedom and stresses that the main challenge is increasing the distance between interventions, not just training neural networks. With goals of thousands of miles between interventions, measuring progress becomes difficult especially in urban settings. Meanwhile, Tesla is keeping details about its three new vehicle models under wraps for 2025, fueling speculation and excitement. The mystery around these models showcases Tesla's innovative edge and its impact on the automotive industry. Are you excited about the potential reveal of these new models?